Now, Cap gave you first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Kristen Walls. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Last day of September. Hard to believe that new month starts tomorrow, but we're waking up this morning noticing a little bit of some haziness to our sky. So some high level smoke is moving in and thankfully it's not at the ground level. So we're not talking about any air quality concerns with this. But the one thing you will notice a little bit of red tint maybe to the sun and even the moon. We're going to have a full moon out there for tomorrow. So this is a live look as you get your morning started from Richland's Columbia Point. A look at the wildfires and smoke. Again, we'll have a little bit of some high level smoke moving into the area the next day. A couple of days, so that's one thing we'll notice. We're noticing that over into Seattle and Portland early this morning. Current check to the air quality, as I mentioned, no concern there as far as uh, degrading air quality. But we will see some good air quality for the next couple of days as most of this will be uh, up at the higher levels. Let's get you over to some of our uh, what we're going to expect out there for today. Sunrise time again taking place at 6:55 this morning. We'll have the hazy sunshine with us and still above average as far as our temperatures go. So we're still going to be in the low 80s by later on this afternoon noon sunset at 637 for today. So temperatures out the door this morning. We're down to about 45 in the Tri-Cities, 52 in Walla Walla, 48 in Prosser and mid 40s over into Yakima. So another chilly start dress and layers once again for today before that sun starts to really warm things up. Light wind speeds out the door as well. Three mile per hour wind in the Tri-Cities, pretty calm in Connell and then an eight mile per hour wind for Yakima. So clear and quiet locally. We still have that high pressure system that's in place and it's going to stick with us for the next couple of days, even as we head into that first uh, week of October. So there's a look at tomorrow afternoon, just maybe a few high clouds building in. Uh, Friday, we should have another beautiful day. And then even as we start your weekend, not a whole lot of changes. So any kind of rain chances remaining well up to our north as we take you into the weekend. So that temperature trend, 74 is typically our average for this time of the year. We're going to be to about 85 on Friday, even 86 degrees on Saturday. And those above average temperatures will continue next week, Monday and Tuesday in the low 80s. So out there for this afternoon with some of that hazy sunshine, we're going to be up to 85 in Yakima. 84 degrees in Ellensburg, 83 in the Tri-Cities with 84 for Prosser into Hermiston, 81 in Dayton, and then 82 for Walla Walla. So overnight tonight, we will again have that full moon out, clear and cool night, upper 40s and low 50s across the area. There's a look ahead to your seven-day forecast. Still uh, lots of sunshine over the next week or so. The haziness will stick with us to the end of the work week. This weekend should be beautiful, though. 86 Saturday, 83 degrees on Sunday, and then more quiet weather by next week. Still keeping those numbers in the low 80s. And then your seven-day forecast, Carissa for Yakima. Also looking at some hazy sunshine through the end of the work week. The warmest day will be on Friday, 86. And then looking ahead of the weekend, mid-80s there on Saturday. Still a very pleasant day on Sunday at 82. And then some low 80s as we head into next week.